Hey, this is CSB853 coming at you full throttle with a story time. So, um, I wanted to talk about a uh, me being a fan of fan interaction situation. So, I'm going to start with the negative and then I'm going to go to the positive. So, I saw, I think it was a few weeks ago, uh, actually before the big, you know, quarantine stuff happened. Uh, there's uh, Tessa Fowler. Now, she was talking about uh, Sean Murphy, uh, the one that does the White Knight comic book, uh, which I do have. One day I'll review it. It's an awesome comic book. But she was talking very badly about him. And apparently she also had a thing where one of the guys was kind of a jerk to her about how he hit on her. Or something like that. And it turned into a big thing. Some people are saying that she's kind of taken overboard. But she took it made it upon herself to destroy his career. Clout. All that stuff. Well. What happened. I've actually seen Sean uh, face to face before. Uh, I didn't even realize it. Uh, he was so nice and everything. Was at a, a convention or whatever. But anyway. So basically. What happens. Hey Don. Sorry, my cat uh, <laughs> decided to get comfortable. So what basically happens is, is that she's sitting there and she's saying you're supposed to fire Blake Northcott. And she's saying, you know, I told you about him. He was a problem in 2017. And I do apologize. I don't even have my notes and stuff in front of me. But like, I'm sitting there like, what is she talking about? And I'm looking at this guy's Twitter and stuff because how I actually came across it, I found that this was a thing. Was it because of anything with Comics Gate or anything like that? I was actually looking up D&D stuff and I was looking up D&D artwork. Uh, just looking at artwork, uh, thinking of things and seeing who was writing what and anything like that because... Uh, I'm getting back into D&D &D with my friends and stuff. And I was, you know, getting in that mood. And, you know, it was like, oh, I want to see some D&D &D stuff. So apparently she did some D&D &D artwork. Well, when I'm seeing all this stuff, it's like she's like, well, you should criticize this thing. But then she was criticizing him with the same thing after saying that. And there was something where they, he said something, and I guess it's a comic scape motto. Um, says something along the lines of, hey, you, you know, we're about putting the customer first. We're about, you know, try to give people the best product. So, something along those lines. I'm paraphrasing. Um, and I'm not saying everybody. I'm not a comics gate guy. I, and anything I do from politics to entertainment to anything on my YouTube, I follow both sides. There are people that are red pill, people that are blue pill, all that stuff. I actually follow both sides because both sides make good points and both sides make bad points. Uh, sometimes I feel as though sometimes people go overboard on every little thing. And sometimes I think it is other times. Like when I made the commentary about the New World Warriors. Yeah. Or when I do the video about the Children of the Atom, which is like a copy paste carbon thing. Like, I'm going to make comments. Things that get publicized, you can criticize. But when you make a public comment or you put yourself on a public platform, you are subjugating yourself uh, to have people possibly question or say, hey, what's going on or anything like that. And sometimes people take it upon themselves to be very mean, especially on Twitter. So when she was saying all this stuff, I was trying to figure it out. I'm like, what? what is she talking about? I, I've never heard of this guy getting this stuff. I've only seen him really actually be very engaging. And I come to find out later, I met the guy. He never even said, hey, uh, I'm a comic book writer, blah, 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 blah. He was actually just really nice. I didn't even know I met him. I don't forget faces too often. And it was like, oh my God, I actually met this dude before. I didn't get nothing signed by him or anything. It was just, uh, we were talking about something and he happened to be there. And I think a couple of people were talking about Batman or something. And we were just talking and he was just talking. And I didn't know. You know, I was just talking with a guy. He seemed really cool. I kept pushing. He probably doesn't even remember me. But either way. So when I'm seeing it on there, I'm seeing her say these things about him and how he's racist and he needs to fire this person and all. And I'm like, well, what is going on? So I start to question Tess Fowler. And I'm like, wait a minute. 
where are you getting these accusations from? Because she was accusing him of stuff. I'm like, I, I don't see anything of this. Uh, and I'm like, but you're also saying you don't want him or people to say these things. But then you're turning around and you're doing the exact thing you're saying. Don't say to these people. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, like, I, like I said, I wish I had my laptop in front of me so I could bring it up and read it. Um, but she's like, yeah, and it's this. And I'm like, yo, the way you're talking, because the way she was saying stuff, I'm like, you sound mad because he got a promotion. And the way you're talking about it, you're kind of coming off like you have a little bit of hatred towards him. Like you're, you're hating the fact that he does it. And I noticed the pattern where uh, her and a couple others like, um, oh, why is her name escaping me? It's like Susan something. I can't remember right now. I'm going to do a video about that. So I'll have my notes. Sorry. This is more of a engagement kind of thing. So when she's saying all this stuff and I'm questioning it, I'm like, yo, I'm seeing a lot of these things, but I'm not seeing where it's coming from. And somebody did say something to me and I'm like, well, no, I, I'm asking for the evidence of the, the things she's accusing him of. I see nothing of it. And I don't see her saying many things about it, except for when he gets something. Cause he was, when he was announcing his Murphy verse. And I'm like, I only noticed pretty much that I'm talking about me now, not what I tweeted, but I only noticed that she was saying something. I think I did say something to somebody about it uh, on there that she only seemed to say something when he's getting a come up and they were like trying to get him to do something, but it felt like she wanted that come up and it felt like she was angry. And I was like, yo, it seems, it feels like you're coming off about this way and how you're saying this. I, 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 I don't get it. Like, I don't see any of this stuff happening. What are you talking about? And the thing that, and then someone brought up an accusation with the other dude that she, apparently he tried to solicit her for uh physical, you know, the mom, you know, the uh, beast with two backs basically. And she wasn't having it. And she accused him further. But a lot of people are saying that, no, she took it further. She was really trying to ruin his career. She was trying to mess his stuff up, things like that. I was like, Wow. Okay. So what I started seeing was I, as I started to look, I saw a lot of negativity towards her and how she engaged people. But I even mm -hmm. saw when people tried to talk to her, she seemed very fast, like to shut them down and be me. And then she was starting to do stuff. So when I asked her and I was like, yo, I'm asking you this, but yo, the things that you're saying, you're also doing, you're saying you don't like the criticism it's fake and she she put the thing up like well it's fake it's fictional characters the thing that the ben affleck did in the movie but then she turned around and then made a commentary about it like you know like you guys are arguing fictional characters but then she started arguing the fictional characters you get what i'm saying it went from one to the other so when i questioned her about this i'm like yo I, i'm trying to understand where where is this coming from what is going on she didn't engage me or anything she blocked me I didn't say nothing rude. I didn't call her names. I didn't say anything mean. Some people were nothing. I literally was like, hey, I'm trying to figure out what is going on. You know, blah, 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 blah. So then I was uh, still able to see the tweet and somebody was tweeting her like, yeah, isn't it great that you're getting all of his shills are coming out and stuff like that. And she's like, yeah, they keep questioning. I'll keep blocking nobody. And she pretty much kind of said nobody should question me. It just should just take it for what it is. And I'm like, no one should question you. That's like the way she started coming off with it. And I'm like, like I said, I'm paraphrasing here. So please don't think, you know, I'm quoting, I'm paraphrasing. But pretty much she was like, well, no one should question me, you know, this, that, the other. And if they do, I'm going to block them and, and, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, that's kind of a thing I've noticed a lot of SJW people do. They'll block people for following people in politics. So person consider SJW that's one thing now you have this other one who's a YouTuber who I'm giving a shout out today to Mecha Random 42 and I do apologize the video is gonna be a little lengthy if she's watching sorry um so she was saying something and I, I didn't agree with it uh she was saying something about Idris Elba because Idris Elba on his page says something about humans are viruses and maybe the planet's trying to you know living trying to burn it out and take some of us out. 
I'm like, when you're on your page, you can say what you want. I don't agree with celebrities going on award shows, television shows, and all this stuff, and then just preaching at us. When you're on your page, you can say all the hoopla you want. I like Idris Elba as an entertainer. I think he's he's talented. I love his acting. I like his music. I like his DJing. But to me, saying that we're a virus was like, okay. But I was questioning her because she was saying it on his end. And her thing was, hey, you're supposed to be an actor. You shouldn't do this. And I'm like, all right, but that's on his social media. Why is he not allowed to say it? And I also questioned her about Jeremy Renner. Because he was talking about something about how he had to lower his child support. She called him an elitist a-hole. And I'm like, well, you know, people do have problems. Like, even if they have money. Because a lot of times I feel as though people sometimes look at actors and things and forget that they're people. And that people, even if they have a lot of money, they still have problems. It may be a little different. But, uh, hold on. Sorry. Uh, thing almost fell. All right, there we go. Um, that sometimes uh, people have problems. So, yeah. Trying to do that, I was engaging her in conversation. I was trying to figure out where her head was uh, with this. Because I was like, she, when it boiled down to it, she was offended. Uh, at least from what I gathered, that Idris Elba called humanity viruses. Um, and she did not like that. And I understand. And we were talking like religion and stuff. And also too with Jeremy Renner, it was more of, well, you have the money, you could do this. I viewed it as, well, he hasn't been working. And because he hasn't been working, he may not be able to afford his child support like he usually can. So he's trying to get a little breather while he's not working. Um, we were engaging and I was questioning her, but she started getting very upset about me interrogating her. And, and I didn't mean it as interrogation either. Uh, but she started to take it as I was like interrogating her. I was attacking, like kind of coming at her. She thought I was doing it on purpose, trying to make her feel a certain type of way. She was talking about, you know, and I put her in a place where not on purpose, um, where she went to a place back when she was married or something and was like, look, I had a person that did this and stuff and you're doing this on purpose. And you had to get the last word. Cause I was like, Hey, I'm just saying Idris Elba never said, cause she was like, he's not the CDC. And I was like, well, he never said this, this is he's just saying what he believed just for the record like you know he's not saying this is I, i'm an expert anything well she took that as i was taking the last word i was trying to come at her and i really wasn't and when i saw that i i started to apologize i was like yo i didn't mean it that way or anything like this i i seriously didn't really mean it that way um most times and anybody who's watching if i'm engaging you online um i mean you may not even remember me I'm I'm not trying to come at you unless I'm like really like yo I don't like what you said and you're a jerk for it and what's, what's up like you know something like that um but outside of that no and I don't try to be that way uh there's enough negativity in our world I I I try you know sometimes you know Marvel and them come out something crazy I gotta say something you know but um or and I may not agree well once we started to, to talk and I apologize I really meant it she apologized. Not only did she apologize, she apologized multiple times. And so did I, I was like, yo, I did not have that intention. She was telling me and somebody jumped in there and was like, yo, man, I can't believe she you know, came at you like that or whatever. I was like, well, no, she's allowed to have the right to feel that way. Now, as we talked a little bit, I come to find out she's been like getting attacked by Star Trek. She's been catching heat from other stuff. So why wouldn't she assume that I, I I mean, I know we shouldn't assume, but if you're catching it from all angles, sometimes you're going to get agitated. And in all honesty, whether I agree with what she's saying on a video or anything or not, she's entertaining. I actually like her because I just found her to be entertaining. Some people may not agree with me. I like, I like her voice. I like the way she talks. I think it's funny when she does a jiggle thing. Like, I, I think people sometimes come at her a little harshly. Now, I looked at her feed and I was like, oh my God, I see what she's saying. And I told her, I said, that would piss me off too. Like, people really are coming at her kind of raw. And I'm like, well, wow, she didn't come at me that way. She was engaging. Once, basically, we spoke like people. Once she saw that I was not trying to be a jerk. And I was literally telling her, I was like, hey, I'm just trying to see where you're coming from. Like, I don't understand why you would be upset when he said this 
or why Jeremy Renner? And, you know, she viewed it as, you know, he's supposed to be an actor dance. At first she was like, well, maybe you shouldn't follow me. I, but I get it. She thought I was coming at her and I see why. Like, wow, people calm down on her. T- like, I'm like, yo, I really didn't look at her whole feed. And I started really looking at her feed. I remember I've seen her say stuff before, but I really looked at it. And there are times where I've came at people on Twitter and I'm like, yo, what are you talking about or something? Let's think about this. And she, not only did she apologize, she told me what was going on. She was like, yeah, people have been doing this and I'm sorry, I'm on edge right now. Uh, YouTube is messing with her and all these other things. And she lashed out. Now, some people might take that and go, well, she shouldn't have lashed out. We are human. And as humans, I apologize because I don't want to put someone in a, a place that I don't mean to put them in. And she apologized and we engaged as humans. And not only did we engage, we started to have a, okay, you know, it wasn't nothing too deep or anything, but we had a nice little exchange. And I was very glad I talked to her. And I was very happy that she didn't try to cancel me or she didn't try to block me. She was like, look, you're doing this on purpose. And once she realized that I really legitimately apologized, and I was like, yo, I really did not mean this. And I didn't want to do that. And I was very sincere about my apology. She was sincere about her apology and stuff too. So I didn't talk to her to get clout. My channel, like I've said before, it can go to something or it can be nothing. And that's not what I'm about. Uh, I try to be fair. I like to talk about geek stuff. I like to talk about things. If you want to comment, please like, comment, subscribe, share. I know she goes through some of her heat. I've, like I said, I follow both sides of videos. So sometimes people do commentary on her videos, um, other people's videos. Uh, there is one I want to do uh, when I do talk about comic books because I noticed a trend that's starting to happen with like people like with Cyberfrog um, and Ethan Van Skyver and how when someone comments about it, how people react. So we'll see. But uh, Mecha Random, I don't know if you're going to watch my YouTube. If you do, I want to thank you for being sweet. I want you to keep doing what you're doing. No matter what anybody says, it's your channel. You do your thing. Sorry you catch so much heat. I find you entertaining. Like whether I agree with you or not, sometimes I've probably left comments. I Trust me, I'm never trying to be mean. I, I literally like to engage people and I like to know how people think sometimes and sometimes I'm, they may come off abrasive and I'm trying to work on that. So uh, if you guys want, you can follow Megan Random. She's part of Fandom Menace. Uh, if you're like, hey, I can't stand it. I think you should see the other side. And also too, sometimes she, yo, she, she can get you laughing sometimes. She got me to smile. Even the person that tweeted even said like yo she's i came to this thing because she's fun so she tries to have fun with it whether you agree or not you don't always have to agree with somebody to have fun with them either so this is csb853 please like comment subscribe share uh you can follow me on social media i need to remember to do that uh same name csb853 all right so y'all stay safe stay healthy follow your social distancing keep your hands clean okay no love.